What's up, kittens? Happy Sunday tea. I was just sitting out here contemplating. Um, I'm really just visualizing in my mind's eye different manifestations. And I was thinking about how much, yes, an enormous amount of cars literally now decide to pass. It's been quiet for like the past 10 minutes. <laughs> um, I was considering in my mind's eye how much I've used technology, specifically my iPhone, to support me on my self-evolution and my journey overall from using, creating like a folders within my photo album that have specific screenshots from like manifestations from images from Pinterest or the internet or wherever that really inspire me. And then I also have a favorites folder for like photos that like I've actually experienced. And I use both of them. I use the ones of the experiences that I've gone through to put myself in a state of just immense gratitude. And then I use the Pinterest ones to, well, this is before Leor Alexander shared a life hack. Um, and I would use the screenshot one for Pinterest and the internet to just kind of like have the expander or the visual of future me. And recently, Leora Alexandra put on her Insta uh, on her YouTube channel um, some hacks of how she uses technology. And one of the things that I have done now is I had um, a similar folder that I had already had on my iPhone. My arm's already getting tired. I'm putting it down here. Um, a similar folder that I had on my iPhone. I had on my actual Pinterest board and she shared how you can actually create a widget on your iPhone for uh, public boards on Pinterest and every hour on the hour, I guess, around that, um, a new image from that particular folder populates. So I have moved that immediately, the smallest widget onto my page, like onto my uh, home screen on my cell phone. And now these images that I've already collected and are aligned with future me populate automatically and I'm seeing them more frequently. And I also feel like I've used, I've been on my phone less because I'm not necessarily like just sitting there scrolling now. Like I'm reviewing all of these things, these manifestations that I've been collecting for some of them, geez, a long time, several years. And then some more recent so just seeing them and reviewing them and making sure that they're like in alignment still of what I am most desiring most of them are travel to be honest <laughs> so and like family and divine partnership so yeah I'm ready for these manifestations I'm in the receiving mode receiving slash reviewing mode ensuring that as I'm blessed with these manifestations that they're still aligned to where I want to go now that I have more information and as the road continues to be slowly, you know, revealed to me. Yeah. Oh, other ways that I've used tech, my affirmation alarms, which I have many of videos where the video just stops <laughs> abruptly because my affirmation alarms come on. Um, other ways. Oh, just journaling in general. Um, I have I like to use Signal. It's an open sourced, encrypted, end-to-end -end text messaging service. You can download the app. Um, I love it because they're a 501c3 and they're open source. So if you have a suggestion, you can support them with like, what do you desire? And if you know how to fix it, help fix it. So anyways, um, I like that. Be I also really like the app because you can make a note to yourself and then you can also make groups. So I have like many business ideas. So I have a different group where I'm just like the only member. You can invite other people on Signal um, where I'm the only member. And I'll like as I get resources, if something comes across my a YouTube uh, video or an article or a song or something like I can go into signal and then I put in the like 
the group, whatever it is, assign it, can categorize it in the real time. And then I use my notes itself to um, do a, a digital written and visual gratitude list. So throughout the day, I'll try to take a couple of pictures and then I write, today I'm great, I write the date and then I write, today I'm grateful for, and then I list three things. And then I will upload my photos as well. So, I mean, I know I definitely have been, had started this like definitely in August. I'm thinking July and June. So like nearly a year I've been consi inconsistently because sometimes I have the intention to do it and then I fall asleep. It happens sometimes. Um, I, I have the intention to try to do that right before I go to bed to get myself in the wish fulfilled and be really in like a state of gratitude. Um, and plus it's fun for the photos because sometimes I'll just like snap a random photo and then I'll delete it and I have it like in this text message now um, with a little note of like why essentially what was going on and what was I thinking. And I'm thinking of, well, I mean, I'm obsessed with YouTube premium. So that has been a major tech investment for my self development because honestly, I went on a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago now I went on there. Um, and I have YouTube premium on my personal YouTube account, not this one where I upload videos and I had switched over on to this account and this woman started like, I felt like she was yelling at me in this commercial. It just felt very unaligned. And I thought, my gosh, like you, these commercials, I'm grateful that I have the subscription and I don't have to be interfaced with the commercials because honestly, I was like, if I was on, had been watching a series of self-development videos or any uh, meditations or something like that. And then that's sort of like, in my opinion, obnoxiousness occurred. Like my, I'm very energetic, energetically sensitive. So I, I think it has been I, one of my top investments of support and just being able to listen to like Kim Velez's, um, I am chosen. It's an eight hour meditation. I can't imagine if I had the commercials and I was listening to that at night. Now I'm really just like being imprinted on of whatever comes on. And, and I don't know, it just makes me think of as a kid where, um, you know, late night TV always had the more aggressive commercials, just like how it was. So I wouldn't necessarily want to be <laughs> unconscious and listening to some of these commercials. That's just how I feel. Um, other tech would definitely be Spotify, creating curated high vibration and high fre frequency um, playlists, which I didn't realize that there are a lot of people out there. However, in comparison to some of the, a lot of the music that I had been listening to before, yikes. I had to, I was, I'm cleaning up, as Queen Amara says, I'm cleaning up my ear gates because some of the language, no. So that also leads into just a new intention I'm setting of less foul mouthing. So I am going to be continuing to expand my vocabulary <laughs> and set the intention to curse less. Um, other tech. Oh, the library, the Libby app. I love listening to podcasts and I love listening to audiobooks. So I got a library card, which is truly my, I put this, I've put this in a dating profile before that a library card is the most favorite card in my, in my wallet. And I'm not even kidding about it because honestly it is. So I guess you could say there's a 60% chance that a book, okay, there's a 60% chance if there's kind of like an obscure book that you want, that you're gonna find it through the library. For that, I do also have a semi-active Audible account for those occasions where I'm like, no, I really need to listen to this book. I'll buy, I'll buy the audio. 
Um, and I do try to make a request to the library. However, in recent months, they've made it far more complex to request books. They should, I don't know why there isn't just an interface where I can just press a book, request book. It would really solve, it's not accessible, honestly. Uh, anyways, I don't wanna get down the library rabbit hole in that sense. I wanna switch it to this of, there's a lot of books that are available through audiobook or I think compatible with Kindle. And I love it. Like, I just love this app because I can just go to the app. I can request books. Books can come. I can delay the hold. So, um, yeah, right now, actually today, I literally just started one of my favorite books. I just, because this is the other thing, like, I'll, like for some of the books, they're very popular. So, um, after I finish them, I'll just put them back on hold again. Because there's some books that I like to read again and again because they support with um, the transitional phases of up-leveling. Like today, I'm listening to, again, uh, Gay Hendricks' The Big Leap, which I've talked about this many times because that's how much I love this book. Last time I read it was in September. <clears throat> and it's like perfect timing. I'm like divine timing where I'm like, yes, I do actually really want to listen to this book because I am manifesting a dope promotion and a raise and a consistent flow of supportive energy in relationships in finances in creative ideas in educational opportunities in personal growth opportunities um definitely travel so i'm really settling into this sense of I've been here before and I've delayed my own blessings. Oh, and a new car. And I've delayed my blessings before because I hit my upper limit problem. And I have been monitoring the energetic flesh 3D responses to different situations that I've been put in and have been experiencing in our going to be coming up soon. How am I reacting at this more steady pace in my life? Because I feel very grounded. I feel very settled. I feel very receiving. I feel very in my feminine energy. I feel like I have more fluidity between my feminine and my masculine energy. And I feel like I'm not in a rush anymore. Like, because I, my expectation is that the universe will always continue to support me and bless me. And I ask that it's done so with, in ways that is directly communicating with me so I can receive and understand the blessings as they're coming, as they are and as they're meant to be. that there's always wonder and awe in the experience. So I'm no more no more being like, I need to have this by this date. Like, listen, I definitely support my inner child of wanting to make these requests and saying, this would be ideal. However, I surrender to the timing that is not of my timing, of the universe timing. And if it's before then, great. If it's at that time, spectacular. And if it's coming at a later date, because maybe there's a few more choices that are left to be, that I personally need to make to best support, you know, maybe that receiving of that experience, then please lead me in that direction so I can best support myself and continue moving forward in a very uh, abundant way, you know, for me. What, and what does that look like for me? What does that abundance look like for me? And the more I, I focus on the sense of that the dream state is the more, what we call the dream state in the 3D, 
is more of the reality than this world of the 3D. I was thinking of different phrases that people, I've heard people use and even I've used of like, woman of my dreams, man of my dreams. And Neville Goddard says that things not of this world must be made out of this world. And if the subconscious is the true construct constructor, conductor, constructor, organizer, planner, the cl the executor and the closer, right? Like the the conscious mind of the 3D is the opener. They're like, "Hey, this looks cool. Let's get some of this stuff." While the subconscious is also the executor and the closer because the subconscious is where the belief system must be to support the frequency of the mana the desired state, the wish fulfilled. So I'm just considering some more things. Ah yes. So as I consider more of the three D to be more of the actual dream state of where everything is occurring is playing out like watching the symphony or watching a play from first person I mean if you've seen Ready Player One this is that's what it feels like so now as I integrate oh I forgot actually why I started recording I'm struggling back now because I was talking about the tech Oh, yes. Gosh. <laughs> Talk about a tangent. Anyways, I felt called to say it, so I said it. Um, and it's staying. Uh, I was talking about YouTube Premium. Oh, that's what it was. Because I was talking... <laughs> LOL. I love going back. Like, when I know that I went on a tangent, I like going back and, and watching the video to see, like, how it played out. To see, like, how long does it take me to circle back to what I was actually saying? So I was talking about YouTube Premium not being essentially brainwashed by these aggressive commercials that are happening. Um, Libby, wow, I jumped really far back. It's kind of like, oh gosh, what is that game? What is it, shoots and ladders? The ladders you get to climb up and if the shoots, the slides, you land on there, you gotta go down. It's like I went whoop, down, now we're circling back around. Because <laughs> um, I went all the way back to YouTube and then I was talking about the library and oh the biggest thing my calendar my eye calendar and i understand if i just skipped over a bunch of references um so a while ago i had created on my iphone my morning routine calendar because what was happening is that i was getting up in the morning and then i wanted to streamline getting all the youtube videos that i use in my morning routine i wanted to streamline having them prepared so in the morning, because I was trying to be like less on the, having the screen so early, because I can just listen, because I have the YouTube premium, I can have my lock screen. I don't have to keep it on um, and like access it kind of like Spotify from the outside. Um, I, I was like, did I mention about that? Yeah, the calendar, um, <laughs> LOL. This video is so funny to me. Um, I wa wanted to have less screen time in the morning when I woke up. So I created in my calendar to just repeat all day, every day. And then some of them, like, um, I do tapping. So some of the tappings are different throughout the day. However, for over, like, the past about two months or so, um, I was doing, again, uh, dang, uh, Gabby Bernstein's sugar tapping that supported me throughout the holidays, which I'm so grateful for. And I'm actually just yesterday finished. It was like a 14 day sugar fast. So I was very happy about it. Um, in any case, so I have like every activity. So I'll have like stay hydrated, morning walk. Um, what, uh, like a meditation. I tried to do a different meditation for every day. So 
It's like every Sunday I do this activity. Like I have this list of things that I do for my morning routine. Every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, like every day of the week has its own set of activities to support my morning routine. Um, some of them do repeat and some of them are different. And inside of the um, calendar, you can add a hyperlink. So I've just copied the hyperlink. So I can go to my calendar, click on what I wanna do first, click the link and then YouTube just automatically populates and then I can lock my phone and then I'm just listening. So that has been like a major help because also, oh yeah, I was also getting a little bit distracted like in the morning, like when I was first like getting into the, the ongoing habit of like when the, when the cats wake me up or if my alarm goes off of just getting up out of bed, even if I'm like, no, I want to stay in, like just getting into the discipline of just getting up sitting in bed was prolonging me getting like having to look on YouTube was prolonging me in bed in the morning. So then I was like not moving or I'd fall back asleep. So it's like, I needed this where I could quickly access exactly all the things I wanted to do. Boop, 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 have them populate and then just be able to do whatever that activity was. So yeah. So I, that's ways that I use tech in this journey. Um, and I'm always considering, I've tried like a lot of the, um, oh, and my notes app, oh, man, I don't know where I'd be without my notes app. If that keeps me organized. And also like, I have like, I think the last, I have a lot, like at least over 150 notes. The fact that I can search it. So I have like a list of things from like if major things happen and I remember to put it here. I have a magic dark list. I have a manifestation list. I have like, um, and that includes like travel or business ideas or just like writing ideas. I just quotes, like I just have so many things in my notes, like even for YouTube, like that's how I organize myself. Um, I write all of like the comments, like I write that all in my notes and then I know like especially when I'm vlogging because I like to have the little orange dot to show like it's something different like when I'm organizing where I've been because that's like my itinerary essentially and I mean I already most of the time will do the itinerary and I do the itineraries in my um notes which is how I got onto using notes as a manifestation tool because I would make uh like a trip that I'm manifesting is I want to go to the Galapagos Islands and participate on their uh, marine biology luxury, uh, like all-inclusive yacht setup. I think it's a yacht. It's definitely like, maybe like more of a mini cruise ship because there's multiple people that are on here um, and like participate in that and learn more about the region. Um, and then also go to Antarctica uh, there's this company that does this really cool excursion where you actually get to stop off in Africa um, and then then go to Africa as well to see the great migration so oh and road trip Banff to like that whole area just do the whole loop in the springtime and stay at oh gosh what's that hotel the they call it the castle of the Rockies, I think. Um, yes. So anyways, I use the notes to create these trips and then like, I'll watch YouTube videos. I'll research people's blogs and I just lay it out. So then that way I already have this, uh, I have a better sense of what that trip could look like and then think of things that I would want to do. Cause you know me, I do love a good adventure. Anyway, somehow this video has turned into 24 minutes. That was fun. Um, yeah, so I'm going to peace out Girl Scout because I have some things I need to get do it, get to doing. And I feel pretty content with all of the ways that I've shared that I've done tech and the best thing about this YouTube. So if I want to share more, I can just press record. So <laughs> catch you later, alligators. Have a great rest of your day. Blessings and abundance to you all. Bye.